Hello and welcome to today's video. I've been getting a lot of messages and DMs asking how to use Flash Pro and what base maps to use and stuff and um, like for whatever mod you guys are doing. So I just wanted to make a guide on how you guys can navigate through Flash Pro successfully for your tu for, for not only yourself but for also your tuner. So just keep in mind that for the first time that you lock your Flash Pro to your ECU you're gonna need a laptop or if you have a printer cable that can reach from your desktop to your to your car to your flash pro then you can use your desktop but it'll be easier to use a laptop obviously so after that you're gonna go to your browser and you're gonna go to the Honda app the Honda website so you can get their flash pro manager you're gonna, go, you're gonna go to hondetta.com and go to Flash Pro Manager, download, and then you're gonna download the manager here, clicking this this box, this download box. And once you have that downloaded, you're gonna go down to your car, or you're gonna go to your car, and then you're gonna open your Hondetta Flash Pro Manager, and then you're gonna plug your car in. So once you're in your car, you're going to plug your Flash Pro to your OBD2 and to your laptop. You're going to see once you click... Oh, there you go. So if you plug in your Flash Pro with the car off, you can access your Flash Pro independently. But since you're locking your Flash Pro to your car, you need to go to... You need to turn your your car on to the on position so if you have the key you turn your key twice and if you have the push button you push your button twice just make sure you don't turn your, your car on I mean don't, don't just make sure you don't start your car so once you verify that everything is connected and working properly you're gonna go to the online tab you're gonna press the lock to vehicle and you're gonna press I have read and understand you're gonna press ok what this is is locking your VIN number to the flash pro so you can't share it and nobody else can use your flash pro so once it's locked you're gonna go down to the, the flash pro tab to a registered owner and then you're gonna click register and you're gonna fill out all of your all your information and then you press next outside USA and then register so then now that your flash pro has your name on it you're gonna go down to Bluetooth and if you have the Bluetooth flash pro you can enable it so you can connect it with the Honda app so then now you're ready to upload a base map so if you have a tune or if you have a if you have a, a new mod that you want a base map for you can just go to new calibration or you can also do control n for the shortcut and then you're gonna make sure you choose your, your year car and it's important to choose the right year under the vehicle tab because they can't um, you can't upload a 2014-15 map to a 2012 um, the flash pro is not gonna let that happen so if you did the RBC swap like what I did in my video you're gonna upload this base map or if you have a whatever mod they have a base map for turbo kit for your supercharger anything for your short ram intake um, just make sure you choose the most relevant one so for me I chose this base map and you're gonna see all these tabs and tables and stuff but you don't need to touch it because that's what your tuner is that's what your tuner is for you can if you wanted to touch something um, I mean you can do rev limits you can like change this to 7600 and your launch control but you can um, adjust that with your car and um, not need flash pro manager for it but other than that I think you can do fuel economy alternator control and turn that off uh, I mean that's pretty much it honestly there's not really much you can do um, off the bat except just use the base map so then once you're ready to upload your map, 
I'm not going to upload this one, I'm actually going to upload my tune. So I'm going to open my tune, or in your case, um, under Flash Pro Manager, you're going to be under New Calibration. So with my tuner, he actually, um, he locked my calibration to my car only. This is my Flash Pro serial number, so only he can access it. So what I'm going to do now is press upload, or if you want the shortcut, it's control U. Then now your car is going to flash that, um, or it's going to upload that tune to your car, which is going to take, I don't know, maybe less than three minutes, maybe. Then after that, you're pretty much ready to start your car. And if you're uploading a base map, I suggest you get a tune as soon as possible, because the base map is only meant to um, get your car started and drive partial throttle to your to your tuner. Make sure you don't do like crazy pulls on it because it's not a tune. It's not a tune map optimized for your car. I mean, honestly, I ran on the base map for a good while and it, I didn't have any problems, but. That was the risk I was willing to take, so I don't recommend you do that. Just do it on your own risk. So when your your base map or your tune uploads successfully, you'll get this message saying that it um that it uploaded successfully, and now you're ready to start your car. You're either e-tuning or you're getting dyno tuned, but if you're e-tuning, you're gonna need to know how to do data logs for your tuner so once your base map is uploaded you can go ahead and start your car which I'm gonna do so now that your car started you're about to go drive you click this red recording button and it's gonna start recording stuff for you you can see here the little parameters it's recording. You can see your sensor, then your display, whatever you need. And now you're just gonna drive, right? You're gonna do your pulls, whatever, whatever for your tuner. And then you're gonna click stop recording. You can also stop um, stop the the live stream, whatever it's called. And then you're gonna go down to data log. And then you're gonna do save as. You can do data log one, whatever. And then you're gonna email that over to your tuner. It depends on your tuner. Sometimes your tuner wants you to data log with your with um with just your Flash Pro, like what mine was. Um, but sometimes they like they want they want you to do it on your laptop. But if you don't. Um, if you don't have to data log on your laptop, you can just um, turn everything off. Um, all right, let's say, let's say your laptop is off. I'm gonna disconnect Flash Pro. You're gonna go in your drive. You're gonna click um, data log the data log button on your Flash Pro unit. So then it's gonna start recording stuff. Oh, let me turn my car. So I'm ready for my drive. I'm gonna click data log, and then the data log, um, the data log light on your Flash Pro unit is gonna start blinking, indicating that you're you're actually recording something. So you're on your drive, whatever, doing the pulls that your tuner asks you to do, and then you get back to your garage. You're ready to upload your your data log, so you can send it to your tuner. What you're gonna do is connect to your Flash Pro again. Uh, one second, while I connect this. To upload a, a data log to your laptop, you don't need to have your car on because it'll grab it directly from your Flash Pro unit. So you're gonna open to your Flash Pro Manager again, and then you're gonna go down to Flash Pro, and then over here are your data logs. So the latest one will be the one with the higher number. So let's say your latest data log was for your tuning. You're gonna open that one. You're gonna see that. You're gonna see the stuff that you recorded. 
and then you're gonna do data log save as you're gonna do you're gonna name it if you want and then you're gonna go down to that folder that you uploaded it at and you're gonna you're gonna um, you're gonna send that to your tuner and I mean that's pretty much it honestly just a back and forth between your e-tuner if you, you go that route and if you guys need a tune I recommend um, hitting up K-Series Pros and they'll set you up with Derek Robinson he's a really good tuner but if you have your own I mean by all means go ahead but I mean it's pretty much it you don't really need to um, do anything technical with with Flash Pro other than knowing how to data log and send send your tunes and stuff so yeah that's pretty much it guys if you have any more questions or concerns comments just let me know you can always message me on Instagram or Facebook I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty good at replying to you guys so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video